what are some of the ways that you ensure your self-love practice mm. is not dependent on your partner's actions or behavior? And that's why I'm saying mm. most of the ways I used to show my self-love, mm. um, it was dependent on the mood that we're in, you and I. Yeah. So if you're in a bad place, I probably won't do it. I'll sit in the bed south yeah. the entire time. Mm. And that's what I'm saying that now I'm learning to separate the mm. two. Mm. That even if you're in a bad place, I know we'll figure it out. It might not be now. So it's okay for me to go do the things that make me happy. Mm. And even when we come back, we're still going to find a way to solve it. So I'm learning to separate the two. I think I've always... Have you understood? Yeah. yeah. Does it make sense to yeah, you? Yeah, now it makes sense. Okay. Where at one point I was your world, but now I'm not <laughs> your full world. So I need to separate. That's, is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? But that's a good thing. Should you be my entire world? Like if anything happens between us, then I collapse. I mean, there's a toxic side of me that feels, yeah. <laughs> that I should you know, be I your world. Like, yeah, I, I, I should own her like that. <laughs> Was no. she in a bad mood at the office today? 